Hi everyone, this is Lorraine. So I am 21 weeks pregnant and I don't have too much to update you on as far as like physically, mentally, all that jazz. It's more, this is going to be more of a video showing you things I've bought. <laughs> um, <laughs> trying to, I'm going to try to like start looking through Graham's old clothes soon, but I've just kind of like here and there seen things online and I'm like, hmm, I think I need that. I think I need that. I think I need that. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it's going to be mainly that. A um, couple things this week, still have acid reflux, still going strong every night. And I really appreciate all of your suggestions on um, how to get rid of it. However, I haven't really tried any of them yet. Just because one of the things is I've heard a couple times people say you swallow like mustard and I don't know just it doesn't sound very good whenever the acid reflux comes on so I haven't done that yet and the other thing that I've heard is apple cider vinegar which I wouldn't mind trying I just keep forgetting to purchase it so then I only have my Zantac and my Tums which work miraculously but um, I wouldn't mind doing the apple cider vinegar because I've heard that there's so many benefits to it so I might as well uh, just get it and try it and what's the worst that can happen you know the other thing that I thought I mentioned was a craving um, this and this has been a craving for the last couple weeks but for some reason I forgot to mention it and it's popsicles I'm usually like a big ice cream lover slash chocolate lover slash all those good things so not really I'll usually go for like a candy bar over like sweet things and I've liked sweeter things lately I still like chocolate <laughs> don't get me wrong but um, I have been going through so many of these popsicles they are the outshine fruit bars and I like this pack that has the strawberry raspberry and lime I have been really liking orange flavored things and orange which probably is contributing to my acid reflux because of the acidity but for some reason I do not like their tangerine flavored ones very much um, so I, I like the lime better so I go with that pack. So now I'm just going to show you everything that I've purchased. I'm going to try to start cutting back, promise. Um, but it's fun it's fun and it's exciting so you know I've gone a little bit crazy so I feel like I get like a couple of packages in the mail every single day but they're like little things um, yeah so I'm gonna show you first thing I thought that I'd mention were remember how I showed you the freshly picked moccasins if you watch my videos I showed you freshly picked moccasins I bought some of their newborn ones and I was really unsure whether or not they would fit because this baby looks like he has really long feet, just like my son did. So I decided to return those and just get a pair of their size one pair, just because it's not that much of a difference. Plus, I liked this color better. Um, and it's this gray. So I ordered these gray ones. Turned the baby blue ones, and I just got gray, which I feel like is more suitable for what I like. And they're still very, very tiny, uh, but I just, I just thought it would be better. I did order another pair of shoes, even though I don't really like shoes on babies, uh, just because they fall off. But I thought these looked like they might stay on, so I was interested. And they are by a company called Gray Label. I purchased a couple things for Graham from this company like a long time ago, um, and I want some other things from them except it's never in stock, like the stuff just goes out of stock so quickly. I know I can order right from their website, but I'd just rather, I don't know, I'd rather get it from someone else. Not that I don't want to, it's just you have to pay $20 shipping for, um, since they're a European company, I can't remember where they are in Europe, but they're so soft. And I ordered these from a store online called noblecarriage.com, and I did order a couple other things from them as well. This baby teether I thought was so cute. It's by a company called Lexi Pexi, and it's shaped like a pretzel. How adorable is that? It's like one of these unnecessary purchases, but I thought it was cute, and it was specifically for him rather than being something that I had bought for my son, you know, my for Graham. So um, I thought it was cute. And the last item that I purchased from this company is little like bloomers they're like little shorts but they're bloomers and they're unisex 
and they're by a company called Billy Blues, and these are for size three to six months, and they're just blue like that, and with a little stripe in it. So cute. I can picture him in a little onesie with these, and it's warm in Florida always, so I just thought it was very appropriate, and it'll look so adorable. <laughs> I'm all for pacifiers. Um, the Avent Soothies are my favorite pacifiers. At least they were for Graham. So I'll end up purchasing some more of those. I don't need to purchase those right now, but that's just something I'll end up purchasing. But I saw some pacifier clips <laughs> that I decided to order because they were cute. <laughs> Namalu, and it's just a wooden pacifier, and I ordered this like teether toy that you can attach to it as well. It had the option of it with it, or without it, and I just decided, hey, why not? And then from a website called madelinesbox.com, I ordered some of her leather braided pacifier clips, and I ordered a four pack. They have, you can either order them individually or you can order them in a bundle, and I ordered four. Um, I'm really all about the neutrals, but sometimes I'm into color, so I got a gray one nice blue color. It's brown, which they called acorn brown, I remember that, and green. I think they call this one evergreen. And on her website, uh, she sold these pacifiers that I thought I'd try. Um, so I ordered one of them. It's called a Nature Sutton. Nature Sutton? Nature Sutton. It's a pacifier. It says it's made in Italy. Very cool. It's butterfly shape, leaves room for baby's nose. Even though Graham really liked the Avent Soothies, doesn't mean this baby will like the Avent Soothies. Doesn't mean he'll like pacifiers at all, but um, I feel like it's worth getting like a couple different ones to try it. I'll probably only buy Avent Soothies and then this one, uh, but we'll see. I bought this cute little set by a company called KB Cute Designs. I love Heather Gray. And this is really cool, even though it's hot in Florida and warm in Florida. Um, I just really liked this set. And it does look heavy, but it doesn't feel that heavy. It feels like it breathes. So I thought this was a cute little hospital set, newborn kind of thing. And lastly, <laughs> lastly, I ordered, I ordered these onesies from a company called lovedbaby.com. And I told you before, my favorite onesies for Graham were these ones from Giggle.com. And they're awesome. They're my absolute favorite. And I saw that this company made a similar style where it buttons down the front like that. And it's just so good. Um, so I ordered this one in a zero to three month size. And this is their color that's gray. Um, to me, it looks more of a brown gray. I'm not against the color, but... Um, I like things to be more and more gray. So they're the pants in the zero to three month size. And these look very, very small to me. I don't know if they actually are, but they look extremely small to me. And Graham was a big baby. He was eight pounds, 11 ounces. So he was big. He was tall and he, he was just long. He was long and he weighed a heavy amount and he still wore newborn clothes. So I ended up ordering a white one from them in the newborn size and this looks like looks so tiny it looks so tiny I feel like it's not gonna fit at all uh, but I liked that they had pure white because giggle.com they have all those sets but they have more of an ivory color and I love just white I like white and gray on newborns um, and just babies in general I like white and gray and just keep it simple and keep it nice um, so I'm gonna end up ordering two more of these from them, but in their zero to three month size. But they look so ridiculously tiny. He wasn't this tiny. I know that Graham wasn't this tiny, so I don't know if I should return this. Just keep it just in case. Um, I don't know. It just looks so tiny. It looks like it's not gonna work at all. It just looks short. I don't think that he was that small, but you never know. Really wasn't too eventful this video. I'll show you my belly now.
But that's it for now, so if you have any questions, feel free to post them below, and I will see you all very soon with another video. Goodbye!